Hello and welcome to GracieMath.com where math is for everyone. Today we're going to find the solutions to a quadratic equation using substitution. Alright, so let's get started. Alright, so let's take a look at this problem that we have here. Which of the following equations has 3 and negative 4 as solutions? Solutions basically means that when I put in the number 3 for my x value and or the number negative 4 as my x value, that they will produce the answer 0. Okay, So if I put in 3 and the number 0 comes out, then that means that, that I have found a solution. Okay. Uh, solutions have other names, so it's worth mentioning that while I'm talking about the keyword. Instead of the word solutions, they could have said the following words. Let me write them with a different color. Inside this little brown box could have been the following brown words. Zeros. Roots. Or X. Intercepts. Okay. And these keywords mean you don't change a single thing about what I'm about to do. They literally mean exactly the same thing as solutions. You put in a number and you try to get zero as the answer. If zero is the answer, then it's correct. That's what these keywords mean. All right, so let's get started on this. Okay, so <clears throat> I'm going to take answer choice number one, and I'm going to use my old friend, the test-taking strategy known as substitution. Okay. Again, there are other ways of solving this, so I'm not saying there's only one way. Uh, and many teachers teach different methods, and those are all fine. Uh, it's just that if you're freaking out on a test, sometimes it's good to have a good fallback strategy, and substitution is that strategy. Substitution means change the letter to a number. So here I have the number 3, and I also have negative 4. And I'm going to check both of those, and if they both come out correct, then I know that the answer is correct. So let's try it. 3 and 3. Okay, so I'm going to put those in, and now it becomes, once again, my old friend, Germdas. Germdas, for those who don't know, is the high school version of PEMDAS. Okay, so there's no groupings, and we're looking for exponents now. 3 squared, 3 times 3 is 9, plus 3, minus 12. Okay, there are no exponents anymore, there are no square roots. There's no multiplying, there's no dividing, it's time to add and subtract. Okay, so 9 plus 3 makes 12, and 12 minus 12 equals 0. Okay, so 0 equals 0. That's what we got. 12 minus 12 is 0, and 0 is 0. So the first one worked. You see, it got 0 as my correct answer. 0 equals 0. The universe is happy, and that is what a solution is. Okay, so now we're going to check the second solution. For the second solution, I need to put, uh, so this one had 3 as a 0. I'll put it here to make sure that I know that I checked it. And I'll change these threes and make them be negative fours. Okay, get rid of all this. Okay, so negative four, negative four squared. Remember, when you square, it means take every single thing inside there and multiply it with itself. So negative and negative makes positive. Four times four makes sixteen. Okay, as long as it's all multiplication. If there's a plus sign in there, then you've got some some little issue there. Negative 4 times negative 4 makes 16. And plus negative 4, negative 12 equals 0. Okay, uh, now we're going to go down our Germdas chart again. Let me refresh it so that it's not confusing here. Okay, so groupings are done, exponents are done, square roots, none of them. Multiplying, yes, there's a parenthesis here, so I need to multiply. Positive times negative makes negative. The number part stays the same. Okay, 16 minus 4 is 12. So there's no dividing. It's time for adding and subtracting now, basically. Equals 0. 12 minus 12 is 0 equals 0. And once again, look at that. It's like a little smiley face. <laughs> Okay, so there you go. 0 equals 0, which means that it is a solution. So negative 4 also worked for equation A. And since they both worked, I don't have to check anymore. It means that A is the correct answer. I love when that happens. All right. Well, thanks very much for watching. I hope you learned something today about how to use substitution to find solutions, also known as zeros 
also known as roots, also known as x-intercepts, all right, uh, of an algebraic equation. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day. Don't forget to like and subscribe and to click the bell icon. And of course, to visit the website at www.grossymath.com.